Hello, my name is Kastidis and today we will be learning how to use GitHub. Before we dive into the details of using GitHub, let me begin by introducing you to what GitHub even is. If you'd like to skip this part of the video, check out the description for timestamps to jump straight to the part of the video that you're looking for. In short, GitHub is a cloud-based service that hosts a version control system called Git. The usefulness of the service comes from enabling developers to collaborate and make changes to shared projects, while keeping detailed track of their progress. In essence, that is exactly what a version control system does. This is extremely useful, as with the help of the system, multiple developers can work on the same project simultaneously without infringing on or delaying their colleagues' work. GitHub makes it really easy to track any changes that have been made to the project. So if any new update causes something to break, there's really nothing to worry about, as you can reverse in just a few clicks. GitHub is immensely popular. There are tons of open source projects that are hosted there and it is used by various professionals as well as large companies. Hostinger uses GitHub too. An important detail to note here is that GitHub's graphical user interface is a lot more user friendly than just using Git itself. What this means is that to use this tool, you don't have to have a ton of technical knowledge. Having that in mind, a lot more team members can be included in the development of the project, making the whole process smoother. An amazing thing about GitHub is that you can start using it for free. All you need to do is visit their page and complete the sign-up process. Once that's done, you can begin exploring all of the awesome features that GitHub has to offer. Let's begin by creating a GitHub repository. In essence, a repository is a central hub for your project. It is the place where all of your project files will be kept. We begin by naming our repository. Here you also have the option of giving it a description. Next, you can choose to make it either a public or a private repository, and three different initialization options, each with a short description of what they do as well as a hyperlink to learn more. Let's start with just a readme file. The first feature we will be exploring is branches. By generating a new branch, we will create a different, though initially identical version of the same repository. On this new branch, you can implement changes to your project without the fear of messing anything up on the main branch. Once you're happy with the changes you've made, you can merge the new branch to the main one and see exactly what changes there were. One term you will often run into when working with GitHub is commit. Every time there are any changes made to any file you're working on on GitHub, you will have to commit them to save it. Let's make uncommit a change on our new branch. Clicking on the pencil icon here will allow us to edit the readme file. Once the change is made, you can give your commit a name and a description. A great habit is to add detailed descriptions so any implemented changes would be really easy to understand for others. Lastly, you have the option to commit directly to the current branch that you're working on or create a new one and start a pull request. For now, let's commit directly and let me tell you more about pull requests. Pull requests are meant to propose the changes that you have made on the branch that you have been working on to be added to the main branch. This is one of the main features that makes collaborating on GitHub so easy. When creating a pull request, you are able to give it a name, a description, as well as compare the differences between the main branch and the one that is being pulled. Now the administrator of the repository, in this case me, is able to see it in the pull request section and decide whether they want to proceed with the merge. If there are no conflicts with the base branch, completing the merge can be done in just a few clicks. That covers the basics of GitHub. A really handy tool that I recommend looking into is GitHub Desktop as it is another way of using Git with GitHub via a really nice graphical interface. Did you know you can also integrate GitHub with your Hostinger shared hosting? This is a super handy feature to deploy your project to your hosting plan directly from your repository. Follow along to see how you can get it done as well. We began by navigating to your hosting plan's management screen. From here, using the search feature, you can easily find a Git tab. Once there, we would need to enter the link for our repository. This can be found by clicking on the green code button in your GitHub repository page. The next step is to enter the branch name that you would like to deploy, as well as choosing a directory where you would like to have that done. It is important to make sure that the directory which you would like to deploy your Git repository to doesn't already have any files on it. Once the setup is complete, you have a few options. You can simply decide to deploy your application with just a push of a button, or you can use a webhook to automate the deployment. Then you can view the latest deployment build output, and lastly, you can simply delete this repository configuration. One of the simplest ways to set up automated deployment is to copy the webhook URL, open the setup on GitHub link, and paste it in the payload URL section. 
Once you add this webhook, every time there's a new update committed to your repository, it will automatically get deployed on your hosting plan. How cool is that? So that is how you can use GitHub. It might take some getting used to, although once you do, you'll definitely be glad that you have this super powerful tool at your disposal. Let me know in the comments what projects you will be using GitHub for, as other developers might be interested in helping you out. Did you find this video helpful? If so, leaving a like will help others find it as well. Stay subscribed to Hostinger Academy for more awesome web development tutorials like this one. Until then, I wish you best of luck in your online journey.